Let's get in this last story because, wow, the Foo Fighters just lost a fan in Ricky Schroeder. The band recently held. <laughs> you ever think you'd read that on camera? <laughs> Oh, I'm aware because I'm a huge Foo Fighters fan. The band recently held a small indoor concert, but you were only allowed inside if you're fully vaccinated. This sparked a protest outside the venue. About a dozen people. That's oh. not a protest. <laughs> no. That's like a up, focus group. <laughs> including former child star Ricky Schroeder. Ricky later posted on Instagram that lead singer Dave Grohl is, quote, an ignorant punk. Kurt Cobain is laughing at you, Dave, along with millions of patriots. Wake up, fool. As we mentioned, last month, Ricky got into a confrontation with a Costco employee over wearing a mask in the store. He later apologized. I'm My blood's boiling for uh, Dave Grohl because, you know, him and Kurt Cobain, they had a very... Uh, Nirvana had a tumultuous relationship, but him and Kurt Cobain, they go way back to when they were babies, right? When they were teenagers, when they were in their early 20s. That's his bandmate, that's his homie. His friend can't defend him from his grave, and you're gonna bring and you're gonna throw Kurt Cobain in your face? I'm just, I, I think Ricky Schroeder is on a whole nother level now. So if Ricky Schroeder offended your husband, you'd be all bent out of shape? What do you mean, friended my husband? Offended. Oh, well, who cares I, what Ricky Schroeder? You think my Dave husband's Grohl? Alive. <laughs> Kurt Cobain's, he's he's gonna throw Kurt Cobain in Dave Grohl's face? Do you think they, he doesn't they, care what Ricky Schroeder thinks? Maybe That's not. not what this but, is the, about. but the fans do. I care. There were twelve people there, Sam. Yeah, who cares? You wouldn't. I am I really like the only. Person I, no, that's I understand like, what you're saying. If you're gonna if you're gonna throw something in someone's face and it's a a deceased friend, thank you. That is like low. it's super low. But that's what she's saying. Desperate, that. Erica. It's super desperate it's from a man that is trying to make himself relevant. Jeff in 2021. Right. He's clearly not because there's 12 people there. His last camera appearance was outside of a Walmart. This Costco. guy used to be famous. Costco. So I feel like this is just a sad man. I'm sure there's a 7-Eleven somewhere on his agenda to have some outburst in. Wait, but this is what happens okay, when you don't identify I yourself. agree with you, but listen, there are people that really, really care for Kurt Cobain and everything he stood for. Just you're like looking people, at it two different ways. No, I'm ways. not. You, who you are, are you protective over? Maybe you're protective over Kobe Bryant like my husband is. You don't want to see people Yeah, but just, if Ricky Schroeder offends someone that I'm, I don't know Ricky Schroeder. I'm not, I don't care what you have to say, Ricky Schroeder. That's how you're I crazy. feel. I'm not offended He's of Ricky yelling at Costco people and telling people what 11 of her followers to not go into this concert. You're out of your mind. I don't care what you have to say. Why would so much words him to know it's affect you? I, it doesn't you want to teach me. him a lesson? No, it doesn't affect me. I think everyone's missing my point. And totally. I, let me clarify. So if I'm not, haven't been clear, I apologize. My point is that when you are a big fan of a certain celebrity, whether it's Kobe Bryant, Michael Jackson, or Kurt Cobain, you don't want to see their name misrepresented or maligned when they're six feet under. There's a respect there. No, so and I'm just, saying, I'm just That's saying why it's Ricky a Schroeder, does it offend me personally? No, but right. I, want, I want to set the record straight because I sit on a TV show and my voice is people are going to hear this? That's wrong. It is. I, I totally wrong. understand what you're saying. I completely understand. But everything he did was wrong. Yeah, but you don't bring up someone who's deceased and throw it in you their best face. You do if you're face. trying to get clicks and yeah, you don't you, care. Okay, but I got to call it what it is. I love it, but that I'm just wrong. saying he doesn't care. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> that I think wrong. we're looking at that totally. Okay. I, thought, I thought it was a vaccination story. It, it's a sad man outside of a concert story. It was. It had With multiple layers. Okay, we layers. all took our own thing. From yes. It. Yeah. <laughs> I love. I love Kurt Cobain, but you're right Obviously. about the vaccination part. Dude, Kurt Cobain's so amazing. Do you know what he used to say on stage when, when, okay, I'll tell you guys later what he used to say on stage. I, I'll be tuning in for that. It's actually <laughs> very important. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back. <laughs>